part that I made here. I'm, I'm just doing a breakdown of the parts and showing how it goes together and what there's involved in involved in it here. Not very much really. To start with, what you need is your just a box or something to mount everything on. And then all there is is this 10 by 10 steel plate. It's a piece of two millimeter thick uh, steel. And uh, it's bent with a curve right here, not a crease. If you put a hard crease in there when it's vibrating, it would just snap off. It would just because the action of it would bend and break off. But by bending this spot right here with a smooth, rounded curve, that's when the motor vibrates. It vibrates that piece, and it doesn't uh, affect it in any as far as breakage. It just stays. And uh, it just simply that plate is just simply screwed down to the uh, box with some pieces of rubber between the box and the base. Okay. And the next thing that would go on would be your motor. And you just simply pre-drill your holes in your steel plate right here, one here and one here for, for the uh, motor mount here. That come, comes on most motors anyway. And the motor itself is just any old motor you can find laying around, I guess. It's, uh, that's a 1725 RPM, seems to work fine. You could use an old grinder motor, just about anything really. And uh, you need to, uh, as far as rigging the motor up, all you simply got to do is where your pulley goes on normally, you take the Allen screw out of here and replace that Allen screw with a bolt, the same uh, thread size, and let it hang out. Oh, I've got that one hanging out about an inch and a half, an inch and three quarter inches. And it's got a large head on the bolt, carriage bolt, and that not for counterweight, just simply hangs on. As soon as it starts up, even if it's in there, it flies out and hangs where you want it to hang. And no danger of it coming off because of the fact that the head of the bolt's th that large. Okay, I'm going to uh, bolt this piece on, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, I got the motor bolted on by the motor mounts, the bottom two bolt holes there. And the next thing to go on is your platform. And it's just simply two shelf brackets. Okay, and what they do is they just hold a little piece of plywood that simply sets oh, about an inch or so over top of your pulley. And they just bolt onto your motor mount and that bracket. You nut it onto the two bolts you already got on there, plus two more at the top end, at the top there. Okay, now I'm going to uh, bolt that on, then I'll show you the next piece. I now have the shelf brackets finished being bolted back to the, to the steel plate and to the... Uh, shelf brackets. Uh, the platform, everything's sold there now. Make sure you use lock nuts and washers because there is vibration. And when this thing is running, make sure you never put your hand on these here. That counterweight, as I found out, will give you an awful snap in the knuckles. You could put a little guard around here, wouldn't be a big project. But I have no children or anything like that, so uh, it's not a problem for me. Also, <clears throat> yeah, the only other thing you got to have is your bucket. It's just a little, well, I'd say it's supposed to be about a two or three liter bucket. And what there is is down inside, if you look, there's a funnel. And that funnel is just turned upside down. Uh, any size would work, really. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't really matter. And you just put a piece of threaded rod down through the center of it and put some nuts on the top of it and bolt it right through the plywood that you've got on the bottom of the bucket. And then you, uh, like I say, you bolt the bucket to that piece of plywood also. And then you put a couple of extended bolts through the bucket for a couple of pins that line up with two holes you drill into the top platform here and the hole in the center of the platform just to accommodate the nuts that hold the bottom of your funnel in okay and that's all there is to it so you just set your uh, bolts down through the two holes and you've got a couple of wing nuts right here and you, you simply screw them wing nuts onto them two bolts now I'm going to do that and I'll get back to you again here in a minute Okay, everything's put back together now. I've added the uh, compound into the container here. And uh, mine, I do have a switch on it. You could just plug it in, no big deal. So you turn that on. I have uh, quite a bit of brass in the bottom there. It's working away there now. Like I said, I've had great luck with this. No, uh, I had no problems so far. And it works good.